Sylvia. Good morning, everybody. Uh, today, Honjo and I will talk on uh, decision of Chibanian, the young epoch, very young epoch. And then so, at first, at first, I will talk on geological, geological terms in Japanese and Matsuyama's magnetic reversal and proposal of new epoch and the Chibanian. And the last, Asoposen. So let's go. Our good friend, late David Aldroyd, published a book, Thinking About the Earth, a History of Ideas in Geology. Uh, in the index of this book, there are only one word of Japanese, tsunami, and only one Japanese person name, Radati Kyo'o. This picture shows the tsunami in Great East Japan earthquake in 2011. It is usually called Fukushima uh, earthquake. And uh, <clears throat> we call tsunami, we all always call tsunami. So Japanese and the foreign Word is different in intonation. I think both is okay. And so the technical term of tsunami in use now all over the world in Japan, <clears throat> earthquakes and tsunamis have happened frequently for a long time. And on the other hand, they are very rare reports on the earthquake and how wave disasters in the world. So recently, tsunami became the geological technical world. Okay. And <clears throat> Radati, Radati was, <clears throat> excuse me, early seismologist at the Central Meteorological Observatory of Japan researching deep subduction zone earthquakes. His name is attached to the Wadati Beni of Zone. It was Wadati's 1928 paper on shallow and deep earthquakes comparing uh, maximum below surface displacement against distance uh, from the epicenter. And, okay. Uh, Wadachi Benioff Zone, also Benioff Wadachi Zone, or Benioff Zone, or Benioff Seismic Zone, is a planar zone of seismicity corresponding with the down-going slab in the subduction zone. But that T and Benioff independently discovered the zones. This concept led subduction in plate tectonics. So, in Japan, studies and research of the Earth started in the late 19th century after the opening the doors to the Western countries. Japanese had to learn most geological concepts discovered in the Western countries. So, a few new concepts such as tsunami, Wadati Benioff Zone and Brunes uh, Matsuyama reversal were proposed by Japanese people. 
and then uh, Brunel uh, Matsuyama reversal was not mentioned in old Lloyd's book, but it is very important for Chibanyan. So go to Matsuyama's uh, magnetic reversal. Matsuyama was a Japanese geophysicist who was, in the late 1920s, the first pro to provide seismic evidence that the Earth's magnetic field had been reversed in the early Pleistocene and to suggest that long periods existed in the past in which the polarity was reversed. He remarked that the Earth's field had later changed to the present polarity. Matsuyama right figure and oh, excuse me the the uh, the lower figure uh, Matsuyama was right and um, technical assistant Naoti Kumaga left with the minus pendulum aboard uh, submarine uh, in 1934. Matsuyama was the first person to document clearly from basalt in the Genbudo. This is the, the right uh, figure is Genbudo, basalt caves. There are many uh, columnar joints. I have never been. I, I, I've been to Armenian <laughs> columnar joint, but I have never been to this uh, Genbudo. But uh, Matsuyama collected the samples here and he found the uh, magnetic reversal. The reversal magnetic polarity uh, interval from 2.58 to uh, 0 0.773 million years that we now call the Matsuyama reversal polarity chrome. And the number six proposal of new epoch. From the late 20th century, International Union of Georgia Science, IUGS, tried to push up the new geologic time scale based on the development of plate tectonics, especially the history of Earth's magnetic field. In the Quaternary era, IUGS invited the type locality of new epoch. And then three places were proposed for the, this Brunes Matsuyama reversal. So two places from Italy and one place in from Japan. And this this is Tibet and this is decided. So this epoch was decided to Tibanian. So Tibanian and where is the Chiba? So, the left side, this is uh, the geological map of Japan, and the, 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 here is the Tokyo, and this is Tokyo, and this is Tokyo Bay, and this is the Boso Peninsula. And this area we call Chiba because uh, the 200 years ago or 300 years ago, there is a family of Chiba lived, rich people. So we say this area, Chiba. And so th this is Tokyo, and I live in here, and the type of locality of Chibanyan here, and the, the tip of the Boso Peninsula, uh, Toshi Yamada, the uh, sub president of Inhigeo, now in Japan, he lived in here. So just between me and 
taught their double quality of Tibanium. And, and uh, so please see the geological map of Japan. So there is the uh, uh, mm, uh, western part of both opinions. There are many uh, volcanoes. For example, Mount Fuji is here. And you know, jet, uh, jet, jet, how to say, jet plane, jet, not jet plane, jet, how to say, jet stream, yes. Jet stream flew always from west to east. So volcano erupted. So there are many ash flows in Boso Peninsula. And so it is good for the decision of Chimanium. And uh, here, there is uh, uh, about the name of Chibanyam. So Chiba is the, here, the locality name. So the epoch name has to be grammatically Chiba plus Ian. So chi, maybe Chibian is correct, but Chibi in Japanese is a little bit. So, so Japanese people do not like the Chibi. So there's the idea. So we use Chibano. Chibano means of Chiba. So Chibano plus Ian, the uh, Chiban Ian, so Chibanian. So for Japanese, Chibanian is very good. So for you foreigners, Chibian or Chibanian, no, not related, but, but for us, Chibanian is uh, good. Okay. And um, and then so <laughs> here also uh, geological map that can express the sub surface geological structure of central Tokyo and the type of locality of Chibanya is that one and shows more than five hundred no, five thousand meter depths of basement. So sediment uh, continued to, to uh, uh, sediment from, so this is uh, Tokyo Bay, but uh, uh, 400,000 years ago from to, to, uh, <clears throat> to uh, 10, 100 uh, years ago, uh, no, 100,000 years ago, <clears throat> there is a Padeo Tokyo Bay, so very large bay, and the sediment continue to the deposit. So it's good for the <clears throat> uh, Chibanian. Okay. And <clears throat> this is a very uh, also the geological uh, map and the Chibanian here. And so the sediments continue to 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 uh, high up, and then there are many uh, ash flows. And dating we okay, and then we have a good data of magnetic data, and also we have a good data of uh, microparentalic data. So so all all data are good for the decision. So. Tibanyang was decided. So, so when Tibanya, this is the Japanese news, uh, news, uh, newspaper, and uh, so when Tibanyang decided, I put, this is Tibanyang in Japanese, and so many people are very, very, very happy, glad, and this is. Uh, uh, not continuous, but very special issue. And here is uh, the outcrop of Chibanya. And uh, I am here, and Honjo is here. I took many people to show the Chibanya. And the uh, so, uh, boundary is just like here. And uh, there is a uh, tough layer. And then so the, the strategy, Strata continue 
Okay. And then so this year, 2022, golden spike here was uh, uh, made. And here, this is the Makoto Okada. He is now the president of Geological Society of Japan, and he is the chief person of researching Tibetan. Uh, okay. And then, so that okay. The, so in the Quaternary era, IOGS invited a type of locality of new epoch of Anthropocene. Japan will propose the sediment of Oita Bay for type sediment, but there will be no Japanese name as geological term. That's all. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mishiko. So we have a lot of time before coffee, it's, uh, and I invite questions to Mishiko. Well, I, okay, here. Hello, and then John. Thank you, Mishiko. That was very, very interesting. Uh, have the sediments in Oita Bay been uh, cored? Is there a, a physical record of that sedimentary sequence? Hario Tokyo Bay? About Hario Tokyo Bay? O Oita Bay. Oita Bay. It's a southern part of Japan, and then the sediments are continue. So I don't know exactly, but the just the uh, uh, just the opening of the I don't know exactly, but the Okubo told me that Japan will propose the segment of Oita Bay for Anthropocene. And the Oita Bay is a very southern part of Japan, Kyushu Island. Yeah. So, uh, it's not really a question, but uh, about uh, the nomenclature. Uh, the Shibanian in uh, dialect uh, North African uh, language is old people. <laughs> Shibani is very old. Shibani is old people, so Shibani in, in Africa, Africa, you say? Yes, Shibani. yes, yes. But for us, Chibi is not good, so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, Jacques, please. Hello. Thank you for a very interesting talk, but I'll just come back to to the beginning when you said there were a few names in uh, the international literature, you know, the Maruyama. But uh, I think that in petrology, there are some names which are very well known. I think every petrologist know, knows the name of Miyashiro, you know? Yeah. Miyashiro. Miyashiro. Yeah. Yeah and, yeah, and the concept of a pair metamorphic belt, you know. <laughs> so, so Miyashiro is very famous in the world, but in Japan, there are some people who do not like Miyashiro. So, so, <laughs> so, 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 I'm very sorry, but the Society of Japan cannot use uh, Miyashiro's name. So, okay. very bad. Une prophète en son pays. <laughs> Any other questions? Yes, okay, I have, I have only one comment for you, and I think it is fascinating to see this ongoing process of defining and naming, because we are used to study it in the past, and it's difficult to find 
the, the details of the negotiations and this very recent uh, example that you brought is a very instructive of this kind of making of the concepts and the decisions. So I thank you very much for that. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for your attention.